Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Web Dine Pro app app and in the previous videos, we started with inbound and outbound plugs. Firstly, we understood the concept, then we started with the practical part. I created the two views. We designed the layout on the various views. I created the Web Dine Pro application and at the last we studied how to embed the views into the window and how you can set a view as default and one of the important concept. Now we will start with the logic part. Suppose if I will run this Web Dine Pro application, what we want to do now from logic perspective, if I will go for test, now you can see what will be our requirement. Whenever user will give the input and click on the submit button, we will firstly display the data which is from Mara table. Whenever user will click on to this button material description, it will navigate to another view where the data will display from MAKT table. This is our requirement. So what we will do? Firstly, I will go for the submit button. On the submit button, we will create the action and in the action or we can say in the event handler method, we will write the code. Anyways, it is fully explained in the previous videos. So now we will proceed with this part. So I will go for the submit button. I will go for the view. And in the view, we have the submit button. And you can see as of now, the submit button is disabled. Whenever we will create the action, it will become unable. I will click on to submit button. Now, if I will go for down. Now you can see we have a on action property, which is a part of events. Now I will create a action on action. I will create a action. I will give some name to the action. Suppose I'm saying display. I will just give some description to get the material details. On this button, I will not create any outbound plugs. We have a separate button, material description. On that button, we will go for outbound plug. This button, we are only, only writing the logic is. I will go for OK. Now, whenever I am creating a action, if I will go to actions tab, now you can see we have a action display here and we have a event handler method. What is the naming convention of the event handler method? This is the name of the action. And before that SAP is adding the word own action. You all know whenever some event will trigger, who will handle that event, event handler method. So if I will go to methods tab, now we have a method here. Into this method, we will write the code and it is a event handler method. Now I will double click on to this method. You can navigate from button also. Suppose if you want to directly go to that method with the help of button, you can click on to the button, go to on action. It will navigate to on action display only, event handler method, this one. Now here we will write the code. Now what we want to do, firstly we want to get this value. We want to get the value of material number, whatever the value we will get, we based upon that, we will fetch the data from Mara and MAKT table. Now here we will simply get the value of material number. And you all know in Web10 Pro ABAP, we will make use of Web10 Pro code wizard. It is very easy. There is no need to write the code by your own. You can simply use the Web10 Pro code wizard. So I will click on to Web10 Pro code wizard. Now I want to go for which operation, read operation, because I want to get the value. 
So I will simply click on to context. I will go for matic. We want to get the value of material number. This is the name of the node and this is the name of the attribute. I will go for OK. Now SAP generated this logic. I will remove the commented part. I will just remove the commented part. And anyways, in the previous videos, I fully explained what is the meaning of all this logic. Anyways, SAP is generating. So whatever you can understand, you can understand that logic. Yes. Now into this LV underscore matinar variable, we will get the value of material number. We will simply pass this value of material number to Mara table. We will fetch the data. Then we will go for MAKT table. We will fetch the data. It means we need to write the select query. We need to write the selection logic. And I fully explained in the previous videos, it is never recommended to write the selection logic in the web dentro component. You should write the, write the logic in the assistance class method and you need to call those methods here. So now I will create a assistance class and we will write the logic into assistance class method. I will double click on to the web then pro component. I will go for yes. Now you can see here we have an option of assistance class. I explained in the previous videos of assistance class, you can create assistance class from here also, or you can independently create through SC24 also. The best part is whenever you will create from here, the name of the super class automatically appear. Whatever it is in super class, it will automatically come into our assistance class. So it is good that you can create from here itself. I will give some name to the assistance class. Suppose I will say Z assist underscore material underscore details. Details. It is asking, do you want to create the class? Yes, I want to create the class. I will save this as a local object. Now I will simply double click. I will go for yes. Now you can see if I will go to properties tab, the name of the super class is automatically appearing and whatever is in the super class, all those public and protected methods are into our assistance class. Now here you can see now we have one more part that is assistance class. Now here I will write the code. I will go to change mode. Here I will go for the method creation. Suppose name of the method is get material details. I will take this as an instance method and it will be public method. I will just give the description to get the material details. Now I will go for the method and now I will go for parameters. Now we will take input and output parameters. It is very easy to understand what will be input, what will be output. Just go for your layout and you will understand what will be the input and output. If I will go for this view first, this is our input. Material number is our input. This is our input. This is output, this is output, this is output, yes. Now, if I will go for the second view, that is for MAKT. So this is our output, this is our output, this is our output. So we'll simply go to our this class method and we will go for input and output parameter. Now, again, the same to same thing. Whenever you are passing a material number, Suppose if I will go for Mara table, whenever we will pass a material number, we will always get a single record from the Mara table because our input is single. We are not going for multiple material numbers. I'm going for single material number. Whenever we will pass a single material number, 
will get the single record from the Mara table. So here, what I will do, I will simply go to class method. I will go to the parameters. I will go to the class. I will go to change mode parameters. So firstly, I will go for input. Our input is Matena. So I'm giving P Matena. That is the best naming convention. Parameter for material number. It is your input. Importing. And now, what will be the data element of material number? This is the data element of material number. Now, now we have three output also from Mara table. What is first one? MTARD, MBRSH, and this is our MEINS. You all know they are single, single values. So I will simply take single, single variables because we are not going for range of material number. We are going for single input. So what will be our first? PMTARD. It is our output. What is the data element? MTARD. Now I will go for MBRSH. PMBRSH. It is our output. And this is MBRSH. Data element. This is PMEINS. This is your again output. And I will write here MEINS. This is the data element MEINS. Now we need to take one more output for MAKT table. Now for MAKT, you cannot go for single, single variable because you are getting multiple data. It means you need to take an internal table because from MAKT, you are getting the multiple data. So you need to take an internal table. Now, if I want an internal table, I will simply go here. Now, previous concepts will play a vital role. Now, if you want an internal table, how you are making an internal table? Internal table, type table of structure name. Here you cannot create a structure through types. There is no provision to write the code here using the types. So what I will do, I will simply create a structure through SC11 transaction. I will go to SC11 transaction code. I will go for data type. I will write ZSTR underscore suppose MAKT. I will go for create. Okay, it is already existing. I will give underscore one. Create. Structure. Now I will write MAKT structure. Now here I will take three columns because from MAKT you are going for three columns. Matenar. The data element of Matenar is Matenar. Now I will go for SPRAS language. You can simply open the MAKT table and copy paste from there itself. I will go for MAKT, sorry. I will display. This is your SPRAS. And what is third one? MAKTX. because we cannot write the code there, types. So I created the global structure. It is just like a structure. You are creating through coding or you are creating through SC11. Suppose, now if I will use this structure here, suppose if I will write TMAKT, if I will go for exporting, now what is the naming, what is the way how you are declaring the internal table? Internal table, Type table of your structure. This is your structure. Now, if I will go by this way, system will give me the error because here I cannot use type table of. If you cannot go for type table of, it means you need to compulsory create a table type. So I will create a table type. I will just add the T word here. I will go for table type. Here I will write 
table type for MAKT. This is our structure. I just remove P. I will go for activate. Now I will use the table. So I can remove that table of word. So what is the way? Internal table type, table type. So now I will simply, simply activate the class. So into this method, we have taken one input and four output. These three are for Mara and this one is for MAKT. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, what, what we did, I simply, simply created the action onto the submit button. Whenever I created the action, the submit button becomes unable. After that, whenever you are creating the action, SAP will create an event handler method. If I will go for that event handler method, the naming convention of the event handler method is your action name and before that SAP will add the word on action. Firstly, I simply written the logic. I have not written the logic. I simply generated through web then through code wizard. We simply are getting the value of material number. After that, we need to write the logic to fetch the data from Mara and MAKT table. But it is never recommended that selection logic will be in the Web10 Pro component. It must be in the assistance class. So I created the assistance class. Best way create from here itself so that the name of the super class automatically appeared. Now we created the method into this method. We took one input parameter and for our four output parameter, three are for Mara table and one is for MAKT. From MAKT, we are getting multiple records. So I created the structure type and table type. Here I cannot write the code. So I created the structure through SC11. I created the table type through SC11 and I used. Now in the next video, we will simply write the logic into this particular method. We will call that method and we will proceed further. So that's it in this video. Thank you.